up everybody YouTube it's your boy Will Moss and we got Reg Culpepper on the HBCU Connect team he's he's manning the wheel right now and we are headed to Atlanta Georgia for a speaking engagement at Clark Atlanta University within the AUC which includes Morehouse and Spellman Morris Brown, Morris Brown. Shout out to Morris Brown if you guys are still going strong. <laughs> and excuse me for not knowing. But anyway, this is the beginning of our road trip. We're headed south from uh, Columbus, Ohio. We're about to pass through Cincinnati right now. We kind of got a long trip ahead of us. How many of you guys would like, like to have freedom? Like to be free to choose your schedule, make as much money as you want, that kind of thing. Okay, so, I think everybody, even if you didn't raise your hand or not, everybody likes the idea of freedom. So, in case you didn't know, um, entrepreneurship for me equates to freedom. To be able to choose your own schedule, like for me, uh, I had a few 8 o'clock classes when I was at Hampton. I didn't like it. <laughs> I did not like waking up at 8 o'clock in the morning. When I when I started working in corporate America, I had to be there at 9 o'clock. My manager would come around, check and make sure everybody's at work. I didn't like that. Um, I used to have, um, I graduated number one in my, in my class at Hampton in, in computer science. So I had sort of a little bit of an ego or whatever. I thought I was, you know, I thought I was tight at programming, and you know, I had a creative mind, all that kind of stuff. And I remember um, one time I had a, a review with my manager, and there's two for if you want to get promoted, there was two progressions. You could get promoted to be like a manager, or you could get promoted to be like a technical expert. And I thought I had like a, a brilliant technical mind, so when I had my review with my manager, I was sitting there like. Okay, I want to be I want to be promoted on this track to be a, a technical distinguished member of staff and get paid more doing that. And my manager looked at me, um, and he said, "I don't see it." So he basically was like, "I don't believe in your technical capacity to be able to go that route." They wanted me to be a manager. I was I was like on the fast track to get promoted and stuff like that. But when he said that, I was like, this dude, how is this dude going to tell me that he doesn't see my potential when I'm sitting here telling him this is the, the path I want to go on? So my mind started working at a, early on when I like started working in corporate America, my mind started working on on freedom like, and not having any limits. And for me, and that's what sort of like what this talk is about, is entrepreneurship. I, I ended up becoming an entrepreneur. Um, I started HBCUConnect.com. How many of you guys been on the website? If you've been on the website, I got something for you. All right. um, but anyway, it's the largest website. Um, it's a social network. It's the largest social network for uh, black college students and graduates and alumni. It's like a LinkedIn or a Facebook for, for black college students. So if you haven't been on the website, definitely check it out because the website is for you. HBCUConnect.com. No stress, fun. I started videotaping, like I started inviting my friends over, like y'all wanna help me paint this house? So after after doing my day job at HBC Connect, which which I'm still very passionate about and it's my main bread and butter and my baby, I started doing 
other entrepreneurial activities. Start getting into real estate, start flipping houses. I still rent, probably, I have 22 houses. And so, for me, my dream was, I wanna have a nice crib, and I wanna have some nice cars and stuff. So like, you guys a lot of times see rappers with Lamborghinis and Ferraris and stuff like that. I got a Lamborghini. I got I had three, Lamborghini, three Lamborghinis in the last year or so. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just what you see on TV with rappers making money, doing stuff like that. It's hustle, you know what I'm saying? It's being an entrepreneur. And, and that might not be important to some people, but what I'm, my point is, it's freedom to do whatever you want. Freedom to do whatever you want. So when you start working, when you start learning things constantly and reinvesting your knowledge, reinvesting yourself, and then start and then start blowing yourself up. Start doing following your passion. Like if you know what your passion is, just, just do it. Like when I when I made that website, I didn't I didn't know it was gonna make any money. I didn't know how I was gonna make money with it. It was my passion. But sure enough, that's what I wanted to do for a living. Sure enough, the money came. And just like a lot of motivational speakers, I don't really consider myself a motivational speaker, even though I have like a YouTube channel where I do like a lot of motivational stuff, topics and stuff. But a lot of motivational speakers say, follow your passion and then the money will come. And I'm, I'm living testament to that. Because my passion for me was my website, hbconnect.com. So I want you guys, after this, I want you guys to definitely go check out that website because it's for you. Like I, I deal with companies on a day-to-day basis. -day Am I telling the truth? I deal, I deal with companies on a day-to-day -day basis that say, can you hook me up with HBCU students that are looking for internships? Can you hook me up with HBCU students that are looking for jobs when they graduate? Can you hook me up with students that are looking for scholarships? Can you hook me up with students that are looking for grad school opportunities? That's what we do. Like, that's the main thing I do. Like, when, when Facebook came around, like, you want to hear a true story? Like, as an entrepreneur, I was, like, a little bit worried. When Facebook came around, everybody at the, at the black colleges was excited about going to Facebook. And I don't know if anybody remembers, but when they first started, it was only open to certain colleges. Then they slowly started rolling it out to the HBCUs and other colleges, right? And then when that happened, everybody was like excited about going to Facebook. So for all this social networking, it was coming to my website, then it started going to Facebook. So I was like, okay, that's cool. But one thing Facebook is not gonna do is they're not gonna care about giving back like I am. So what, I, what my focus is, instead of focusing so much on people sharing pictures and networking and adding friends, I'm gonna add opportunity. So my website is all about opportunity for you guys. What up? We're back. Um, so we just got off my man's campus, Clark Atlanta. And uh, it was decent, man. People was nice. They was proud. They was about to hold us back from putting the magazines out till we said HBCU Connect. And yeah, they was like, oh, okay, true. okay. So, it was just some regular old magazines. So shout out to them for recognizing the brand. Shout out to everybody in Georgia, Atlanta. Um, but we're getting ready to head back to Columbus because we got stuff to do. And I'm sorry to my family down here, but. You know, gotta get in and out. Yeah. Anything you wanna add about your seeing your school for, after all these years? Nah, it was a good trip. Good trip. I love, I love always uh, seeing uh, the old stomping grounds. You know, but gotta go. Gotta go back home. So, anyway, we're finished with the speaking engagement, and now we're about to hit the road.